junior high, seventh grade, my friend DJ and I, we came back here and no lie, we blew up a freaking M80. Now M80s are illegal, it's a quarter stick of dynamite. We blew one up here. Okay, this is a little bit of an interesting vlog because this is walking down memory lane for me. My parents are selling the house, so we're gonna take a little tour today and just see everything is like a shell of what it was back in the day, but just a little stories from my high school days and college days when I lived in this house. Let's check it out. This is like an empty crib tour, it's strange. The walls weren't blue when I lived here. They did a lot of work to try and change things up from when I was young, but this was pretty much a TV room, spent a lot of time here. 1990 something. My brother was in house and he didn't know how to cook. He put on a cookie sheet into the microwave, hamburger helper mix and noodles, no meat, no water, and just tried to cook it. And he almost like lit things on fire, legit. But I guess if you're a 10, 11 year old kid, maybe it made sense at the time, I don't know. My parents' staple food was cereal. So this would be filled with so much cereal in this one. And this one too, my dad would buy all sorts of different cereals on sale. High school, God, we ate such like horrible Americans. It would be like cereal for breakfast, whatever school lunch had, and sometimes it would be cereal again for dinner just because it was such a low maintenance thing to make. Now this is the dining room. There was a huge dining room table in the middle here, but the funny thing is this chandelier. My room is directly over this chandelier. Imagine, you know, being a high school guy, getting a girl alone in your room, doing whatever, and then you're revealing what you're doing by the chandelier shaking. 21st birthday, fun story. This toilet was my best friend. Didn't even drink that much, but for some reason, I got damn near food poisoning from a local restaurant. And I remember I drank something equivalent to a Shirley Temple, but blue in color. I got so sick from their food on my 21st birthday, I was in here puking blue. My parents thought I, I drank too much, and I was just like trying to explain to them I got damn near food poisoning. But just imagine a stream of like blue vomit coming out, and yeah, that was... This was my old room, and while there's nothing much in here, standard high school kid's bedroom. Only weird thing was my mother didn't allow me to hang anything on the walls, so it actually looked a lot like the walls are right now. This was pretty much the view we had. You can't really see much, but out here, when it was winter time, the leaves would fall off all the trees, and you would be able to see the nearby blue hills this big room here was my parents' room. Bed in the center, my mom's closet, my dad's closet. We come in here, this was their bathroom area. They paid a lot to get this little jacuzzi put in, but I kid you not, throughout the majority of our time in this house, this was used as a laundry basket. Very interesting stories here. I'll give you two of them quickly. One day I was doing something, some yard work over here. My mother was mowing the lawn all the way in the back corner over there. She rolled over with the riding lawnmower a rock and uh, like a big boulder in the ground, broke off a chunk of it, launched it across from the lawnmower blade all the way across the yard, hit me directly in the chest. Other interesting story about this backyard is right here we blew up a freaking M80. I remember sitting here right in this spot. We were sitting here. We tried lighting this damn M80 and we were having trouble getting it because it was a little windy. And then all of a sudden, like, we probably held onto it maybe about one second longer than you should have once you start lighting an M80. And we're like, oh my God, it's lit. And we just tossed it over there, landed on the, gran uh, on the granite embankment and just blew up everybody in the neighborhood heard. My poor brother, I didn't know this at the time, he was in on the couch taking a nap. We woke him out of a deep sleep. He didn't know what the hell happened. I drank probably more in high school than at the end of my high school career than I did in college. And probably more than I did the rest of my life. But what we would do is I would have myself and the guys over and we would have sleepovers and we would sleep and just crash in the basement on sleeping bags. And my parents' room was right up there where that balcony is. And what we would do is we would hang out, play pool, video games, whatever, until late at night. Once my parents went to bed, we would sneak out the back door 
and we would go down to the local school down the street and we would hide our beer there. Funny enough, it was behind the no drug sign, which was kind of ironic. So my parents built this house from just an empty lot, built it in 1992. And uh, if you come in here, this is the garage. And one of my favorite stories here is if you look right up there, there's a beam. They were building this house and the frames were up and this huge center beam was in place. My parents were wandering, wandering around checking out the construction and things like that. And I was walking, balancing across this beam and it was like, there wasn't even like, it's like an eight to 10 foot fall from up there. And they said they were scared unbelievably uh, that I was gonna fall, but they actually didn't wanna say anything because if they yelled at me, they were afraid I'd get scared or get distracted and fall off the beam and hurt myself. But just imagine a wooden frame house and crazy young me just walking across that with parents looking on, not knowing what the hell to do about that. The driveway doesn't look like anything amazing and it probably doesn't mean anything to anyone. But for me, this is where I learned a lot of my skateboarding maneuvers, in this driveway. And it's kind of a crappy driveway to do it. it because it snows here so much, there would all, always be these cracks. I learned so many skateboarding tricks here and I remember there was a day I learned to handstand on a skateboard and then handstand finger flip later on. I learned it right here in this driveway. basement was the place we would chill out. Um, our parents really hooked us up. This was like our activity center of the house for, for my brother and I. We had a pool table right here, which constantly created problems because there's a hung ceiling in here. It's very low. So if you can see places like here, uh, we, we or our friends would come over. Sometimes we'd get too excited, raise the pool stick too high, and uh, we would put holes in the, the ceiling, but most of them have been changed out since. If you'd imagine over here, we had an entertainment center uh, with TV and PlayStation 1. Over on this side, back in the high school days, we had uh, just a couple of couches here and here. Uh, there was a VCR, or if you wanted to woo a girl, you would bring her down to the basement, play, maybe play a game of pool or something like that, and then you'd always hit her with the dependable line, wanna watch a movie. Uh, for me, the go-to movie was always Muppet Treasure Island because it had adventure in Muppets. What girl would refuse that? Sorry if this isn't the most exciting vlog, but this is more kind of for me because this is like my history. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be allowed inside this house again because the parents are selling it. Someone else is going to own it. Nostalgia tripping a bit here. Hey everybody, it's Chris from Hey Freshman. If you enjoyed the video you just watched, be sure to hit that like button. And while I don't want to pressure you, you want to subscribe, also appreciate it. Be sure to check back in for more great videos in the future.